A leading animal rights and anti-cruelty activist is asking the Oakland County Commission to formally investigate only Oakland County Animal Control. Puppy Mill Awareness of Southeast Michigan alleges lax enforcement of kennels and pet stores. Our Guy Gordon joins us now live with what the group presented. Good evening, Guy. Carmen, good evening. They came armed with pictures, sad and compelling, uh, saying that this is evidence that the Oakland County Animal Control is not doing its job. Puppy Mill Awareness alleges animal control has failed to cite multiple violations at five kennels. Even though one kennel has failed 13 inspections over seven years, including one as recently as September. We're not getting a response from them. They're only monitoring. They're going out and checking, but they're not actually enforcing even the basic animal cruelty laws. There are 25 complaints in 2015 alone of sick animals coming from area pet stores, two specifically. That sick dogs were sold across state lines, a violation of the law. They also claim they found animals with docked tails and ears, once a widely accepted practice, now legally considered animal cruelty. Medical attention, sanitary conditions, exercise, things that are not being addressed by animal control. Animal control says it is not responsible for pet store inspections, but did look into a cruelty complaint that proved unfounded. They say kennels with cleanliness violations have always cleaned up within days and did pass subsequent inspections. And that they've not shut down the repeat offender because all dogs were found to be in good condition in spite of the kennel's poor cleanliness record. While commissioners are not ready to call for an investigation, they do want more answers from animal control. According to the photos that they showed us, it was a valid concern and it needs to be uh, looked at. Now, Mark Newman from Public Services Department says he stands ready to answer all those questions. He says he's bound by the law, which says you must give kennels an opportunity to clean up after being hit with a violation for cleanliness. Pam Sortle's not having any of it. She says, anytime you've got a kennel that is that filthy, you can't say that the dogs are in good condition. It just doesn't add up. Uh, we'll continue to follow this. We're live. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Carmen, back to you.